surprising. Foxtrot being out of the map pool. Okay, that's actually okay, but yeah, Catalina's <laughs> weird. <clears throat> We're in the game number three between Alicia and Penguin, and it's on Nimbus. In the bottom right-hand corner, as the blue Protoss, it's Axiom's Alicia. And his opponent spawning up in the top right-hand corner of the map as the red Zerg player. Currently down 0-2, but looking for the 3-0 comeback. It is going to be Penguin. Oh, whoops. <laughs> I was just remembering something, yeah. so here's here's Penguin, sorry. Um, <laughs> but I like, totally remember that like I don't have like a scoreboard, so... <laughs> oh... Whatever. <laughs> That's Hashtag why we repeat zombie it. Girl, zombie Grove production. Yeah, I actually don't even know how uh, to even... Control shift S. Oh, so I wanna, see. Well, I'm, first I'm, if, like... I'm to tell you all, you're going to want to hit control shift S. <laughs> no, you're gonna no. You're going to want to hit control shift 5. First, you have to actually... Uh... Yeah, you have to set it up. Yeah, exactly. Control shift, control shift 5, but... Yeah. You'll have to deal with it. I actually know. I know, like, Beige to be actually really good production. Like, we just do, like, Rifkin, I should say. Does things yeah. that, like, no one else bothers to do. It's annoying sometimes that to deal with everything, but it is really uh, clean. Zombie Grub? What? I'm gonna let you finish, but Penguin is 10 pulling. Oh. <laughs> and Alicia, Alicia just got it too. Up. Alicia just like, got it first. It's a four player map. Awkward. And you know what it does? You know, oh my god, a temple only works on this map because you predict they're gonna go 10 Nexus, or 10 Nexus, uh, Nexus first. And the fact, yeah. like, at least just, like, walls off his main and he's like, come at me, bro. Okay. Oh, wait a second, hold on. Okay, so the drones were made before the Zerglings. Peng oh my god, this is so smart. This is a really good identification from Penguin. He knows he saw the probe, actually just got him out, and he was just like, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna make drones. He makes one set of Zorg, it's just a poke, and he can be annoying with those if Alicia, for some reason, did go for the Nexus first and doesn't have a complete wall off. Alicia is gone for the Forge first, has delayed that Nexus from actually going up, and I he's even throwing down like the early cannon and everything. So on a four-player map, I feel like now if Penguin a... just plays really greedy, it's actually going to work out well for him. And what a terribly placed cannon. Did that actually reach the pylon? Oh, Maybe it's actually not terrible. I think it, I think it reaches the pylon. Okay, oh, it's like I don't really know if it reaches close. that further zergling. Oh, does he reach no, both of them? See, that is a terrible placement. Alicia, oh. please. Okay, uh -oh. well. Oh, look what's happening at the hatchery though. Awkward. Oh, he sees it. Cause here's the thing, Alicia doesn't have a gateway down. These zerglings should theoretically not die for another like three to four minutes. Alicia tried to be really oh. sneaky in the, in the natural of Penguin and did not work out. Oh, God. Yeah, the pylon's there, but the probe's been picked off. And now there's two Zergans roaming around in his main base. Uh, gonna be annoying, trying to get a, an, as much of a scout off as possible. Pulling probes off from mining. Oh, God, this is like the... It was looking so good for Alicia. Oh, Alicia trying to get surround on the Zergans, but really nice joking from Penguin. Mm -hmm. Oh, loses one. Struggling, though. <laughs> Bob and Weave, boy. Oh. Zombie Grub, this game was looking so good for Alicia. And now, all of a sudden, I, I think it's looking amazing for Penguin. I don't really know if it's amazing for either player. I don't know if I want to use that word. <laughs> well, uh, I don't know. Hey, what's wrong? Oh, that Corona Boost was wasted. Uh... Because, well, I mean, they're both still at even probes. Like, Penguin's still on only two hatcheries. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's droning well, really thing, hard. Right? Doesn't, doesn't a Zerg player, no, like, does, or sorry, doesn't a Protoss player normally want to be a bit up on workers? Because the Zerg player... Oh, actually, yeah, I guess the third expansion hasn't been taken. I was going to say, normally it's like, know. there's a period of time where a Zerg player invests in the earlier third expansion. So they look like they're a little bit behind in workers for a while. But then they suddenly suddenly start to have like this huge influx of workers, but I guess that's not really the case because the third expansion is only just now going down. Hmm. Sounds legit. So I actually think it's a kind of a normal game almost. You know, Penguin yeah. he went for like the uh, we could say that he almost went for like a gas expand. He doesn't have actually have the speed, which sucks. But you know, you get a third a little later when you go for the gas expand and you give up to have a little mm -hmm. more control over the game. And even though he doesn't have speed, he still got control of the game because he did the 10-pull. 
and he did he, he had the mind tricks against alicia he was the one that was in control so he's i, I guess ahead mm-hmm. in that regard or he's comfortable because of that i would say uh but i think it's actually like like a normal game now <laughs> it was always so funny when that yeah, happens i can sort of feel that i think the reason why i sort of felt like alicia was gonna have trouble is because he had to deli- so he went for the for he had to go for the forge first and then he had to go for the uh cannon and then he had to go for the nexus and then eventually after the two zergings stopped causing havoc he finally got his gateway down so i feel like all the timings that alicia would want to do some kind of nice push outs with they're going to be delayed and i feel like Penguin should know that and should be playing as greedy as possible right now, which I yeah. I kind of feel like he's getting the opportunity to do. So I'm still not sure whether or not I agree with you. I think I'm just going to do the cop-out thing and just wait because I don't <laughs> have to make judgments on this stuff. Yeah, I can definitely... That's what I meant by like saying like he's really comfortable. And the Zerg, yeah. you know, there, you can be comfortable as a town in Protoss and feel good about the game, but you, know, you don't really get a lot from it. But as a Zerg, mm-hmm. if you know you're comfortable and you know they're not going to attack, that's when you drone. That's when you can use all 20 larvae to drone. So it's really important that they, they feel like they're in control of the game, which he certainly yeah. does. So, uh, But, you know, I uh, just supply-wise, I mean, the third base is going to get up really fast for Alicia. And, you know, kind of we talked about, like, the lack of aggression from Alicia, but there's also a lack of aggression from Penguin. Uh, and I think, you know, if Alicia, like, was afraid because he didn't have any map vision and he got his third, like, you know, at 10.30 mm-hmm. or 11 minutes, then Penguin gets a lead. But it's just going to be, like, a no rush 20 minutes macro yeah and what's really interesting is we have that those void rays coming out once again from alicia now he opted to go for the oracle first um which i think i i kind of like that decision uh just because you know oracle's nice you can either get some damage done or you keep it alive for revelations which is always really really convenient but we do you think we could be seeing that same sort of style from the last game? I, I'm, I'm more likely to say no, because we see more gateways and, like, plus one weapons being added on. Yeah. But he's getting a lot of void rays. Yeah, I don't, I don't think so. Uh, of course, we talked about the, in the very first game, you know, when he went that Phoenix and then into void rays. Yeah. That was, uh, that was odd, because you usually open Oracle into two, one to two void rays. And I think that's just what he's doing here. I'd be really surprised to see a third one come out. Yeah. Also, a quick side note. Uh, do you actually have the scores up on the screen? No. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> I think people were asking uh, on the chat what the score was. But okay, that's fine. Um, yeah, with the Voiders coming out and uh, some sentries, I feel like he's going to be able to try and hit a little bit of like a push over here. Maybe. But the Mutals are coming out. By the way, the only reason I don't have it up is not out of sheer laziness, but since <laughs> taking away the uh, this bar up here, I haven't done it since the first game either, lags it so much, I'm afraid to do it, like, have to change everything, oh. too. You know, in I'd the wanna, middle of the game, yeah. Yeah, I'd want to test fair. it before I did it, so sorry, guys. But, I mean, I know for a fact that other streams do. That's what I was talking about, like, base video. Base Trade TV has really good production, but I've gone to other streams, and, like, they don't have the best of on, and I'm always like, God, that's so annoying. So I'm being annoying right <laughs> now. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Say Livy. All right, here comes Penguin with a couple of the beetles. Not a lot of them, but he's still getting a good amount of damage done. Kills off a good ah. six or seven workers, and now gonna go to the main base. Kill off a couple more. It's almost like he's deciding to sacrifice these beetles. This is this feels like a repeat of game number one, but it's not a transition as foremost. It's a transition into Roach Hydra. It looks, or actually no, just Hydra Ling. Yeah, Hydraling maybe straight up to Infestors? Because he's already missed the timing. Well, actually, there's no Colossus on the field, so I, I can't say that. But since he's going for Hive already, mm. he's not going to do that really big Ling Hydra push, I think. And he's also I getting. I really like this. He's also getting Infestors? Like, he needs something other than Hydralisk, that's for sure. I don't, I don't know, Zombie. Like, okay, think about it like this. If he's like, anticipating that Alicia's going for the same style, what does the Void Ray oh. Phoenix composition lack? It locks splash damage. Right? I get what you're saying, like because he's predicting since he saw the Stargate. Yeah, but and it's... he's also seen the Void Rays. That's the important thing, right? Yeah, it's it's just the it's the problem is is that it's not, and you know yeah, Hydra's still true. Hydra's are still good against gateway units. Um, you know if if Alicia was going Colossus, we'd be like, oh, he's being totally fooled, and now Alicia's in a really good position. But it is only gateway units, but just Hydras, you know with minimal link coverage, no roaches, nothing else, they actually are beaten back by large numbers of link stalkers. They're, you know, they commit, they overcommit, they die because they can't retreat, uh, and just, mm-hmm. you know, blink stalkers last a long time, and hydras by themselves really don't. 
Yeah, I don't think that this is just like, you know, Penguin being a fool and think and just assuming it. Like he saw a second Stargate coming up from Alicia when he poked in with the Mutalus. Yeah. So I think that should actually be like a pretty good reason to think, like, oh, I th my opponent looks like he's probably doing some of the thing. But actually, either Alicia was trying to fake oh. out Penguin or hold that thought. Actually, Warprism drops some zealots in the third or natural. No, okay. Doesn't do much. No. Um, but yeah, like, I don't know if it was a fake-out or if he's just trying to prepare for the potential Mutalist transition. I guess prepare for the eventual one. Plus, a second circuit's never bad to have in a PvZ because you will eventually, most likely, have to get Tempests. Um, but you know what? Yeah. Penguin, actually, he's going for Roaches. Uh, so we got Hydralisk, a lot of Hydralisk first, and now he's going to get the buffer that he really needs. Plus he has Vipers. So it was like a it was a different way to get to this composition, but it is a, definitely a composition we see a lot. Roach, Hydra, Viper. Yeah. And looks like we may be seeing an engagement just at the exact right time. This is as finally has those Roaches out. Oh, this is bad for oh. Alicia. Oh, this is so bad for Alicia. Alicia actually can't. Okay, he recalls. That was important. Yeah. But even if he recalls, he doesn't have a, he doesn't have winning units right now. I feel he has no hard hitting units. Not even immortals. Uh, Colossus would just be pulled anyways. Yeah, he doesn't have like he even if he had Colossus, yeah, they would be pulled. But I mean, he doesn't have any splash damage. Blinding Cloud goes down actually in a great position over there on top of all the stalkers and. Penguin's doing a lot of damage over here. He's going to try and knock down the destructible rocks to try and get into the natural expansion. Open up that avenue for attack. Because Alicia's kind of pinned back here to this third expansion. Uh, the Alicia Core does go down. Uh, oh, oh DT is oh, winners! DT is our winners right now. And he has oh. to actually pull it back. Did he actually even... Oh, he did notice. Did this not happen versus Crank 2? Did it? Oh, he got I... like a bunch of investors. That's right. Yeah. Oh my god. And the War Prism actually dropping... DT's over the main base, doing a lot of damage to the drone count. More Zealots actually focus firing down the fourth expansion of Penguin. The Zealot harassment and the DT harassment is working out so well. Now Alicia's getting the opportunity to push across the map as well and killing off whatever couple of Kree tumors or drones that he can catch. Well, that was very, oh very good harassment. But remember that Alicia still has a big problem that he doesn't have any hard hitting units. He got lucky with the DTs once. He did a lot of economic damage on the backside, but he's not. It's not like behind this, he's getting a bunch of Colossus and going. I don't know how that got depowered, but uh, and going up to Colossus. He doesn't even have a Templar Archives. He has no Whoa. splash. Yeah, he's gonna try and make up for it with some nice force fields. Gets a couple of free pick, uh, unit pickoffs. And might be able to get a couple more. Oh man, Penguin has to pull back and regroup his army because he keeps letting these uh, units get force it off little by little. And that's actually the one way that I think that Alicia may finally be able to deal with this army. Oh. Engagement goes down once again. Some pretty good force seals. Uh, I think that Alicia's starting to run a little bit low on the four seal zone. These high deals, the DPS from them is working out pretty well. Some nice micro from Alicia with the blink. I think that he's going to be able to yeah. hold on, but... Uh... Oh my god. I... I can't believe it. Zombie Grub. Mm. Just repeated retreating back and forth fielding. It was... I think Alicia's been able to trade efficiently it was very effective I and mean, we did talk about you know when we thought it was just hydras how blink stalkers can actually win out against them so okay. they were just low enough number just low enough that they went out four dt is at the fourth expansion there's only one spore car the spore car <laughs> detected for about five seconds and then four dt is killed it off immediately and then they go off and kill off the fourth expansion the penguin needs a fourth expansion zombie grub yeah, well, Alicia does too, and Alicia is actually on his way to getting one. He retained a lot of the Blink Stalkers, but, you know, the Muta... Well, actually, he also still has those two Stargates, so I'm actually not entirely yeah. positive about this Muta transition. Well, it's still working out well, because I mean, Phoenixes haven't actually been produced right now. It looks like Alicia's content to just deal with them with the Stalkers and Photon Cannons. Uh, uh, for I now. Know. Oh, the fourth was cancelled by all these Lings, by the way. Oh, nice move from by Penguin. I really like that. Uh, just you know, chase getting all the stalkers to chase him all the way into the main base, and that's that's one of the reasons why you want to have those Phoenixes, is that you can continue to at least pick away at the Mutalus, and you don't have to move your entire army out of position. And you can see once again Penguin moving back in with the Mutalus into the natural expansion. He picks off every single probe there, 
And Alicia's just deciding, like, do, oh, do no. I move over to my natural expansion? Because now the Zergens are coming into the th uh, the third. He will lose that Nexus, and he just he doesn't get anything oh. for it. No, he just went down right there. This is, like, you can deal with Blink Stalkers, especially on certain maps where you can protect three to four bases very easily uh, as a whole. Mm -hmm. But, like, not this is why you want Phoenixes, oh. so you can chase these mutas around as they run around you. Yeah, even losing the Mothership Core, so that's... That might not seem like the biggest deal because, oh, I mean, what's Photon Overcharge going to do against this army composition? But it's the recall that I think was really important because you want to have that recall ability against Beatles because if they go into some sort of weird base trade situation, you want to at least be able to recall back home because now you see Alicia moves out. Guess what? Mutalists move back in. They're going to make sure, okay, you don't have a natural expansion still, right? Cool. I'm going to pick off whatever I want, and then I'm just going to come back with my Mutalists and try and kill off your army. And you can't really recall out. You, there, you have to commit to this. Yeah. Very unfortunate that Alicia just couldn't find the time and or money to get up to those Phoenixes, and this might just be Penguin's game. He is down 2-0, so it would be really nice for him to grab at least one game. Alicia, though, he's trying to, I mean, counterattacking almost seems to never work against a pro or Zerg players going mutas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially if you don't have any kind of way to go back home, but the entire economy of Alicia has been completely neutered. Two probes left over, although there's only 26 drones left over. Or Penguin. Actually, Alicia's retreating back home. I don't know what I think about this that. This is weird. This is, I mean, he lost all of his Nexus. I think he doesn't have any more... Wait. He has two probes, and they're both in the same position, but I think they're going to survive. So he does have enough to make another Nexus. He killed two bases of Penguin. In fact, put him back down to just... Uh, I mean, pretty much one, as he's completely mined out the ones that he's taken. Oh, does he uh, win the storm? I, I, I don't know. Storm? Uh, you know, as long as they're not sniped off, he has to be so careful to protect these High Templar. Oh, zombie girl. Okay, let's let's theorycraft here for a second, okay? Penguin doesn't exactly have a lot of mining going on right now. Uh huh. And he also only has one overseer. Mm -hmm. Alicia's been super annoying with DTs. Oh. If Alicia could somehow manage to like establish an expansion somewhere, and just use DTs and just keep. Penguin from actually expanding? Could he actually come back in this? I think he could. Uh, it all depends on whether he can actually get these two probes to stay alive and, and get a Nexus up. I mean, I don't think Alicia notices he still has two probes. Oh, man. This is where that grab all uh, idle workers hotkey really oh, yeah. helps out. <laughs> but uh, Alicia's going for a kind of like a sort of base trade situation. Oh, um, no. Wait, no, he's, he's just going to lose his base trade, though. He needs to come back and defend. Oh, God. Yeah, he doesn't have any proxies anywhere, actually. He has a Zealot out on the map. He has two oh, DTs no. out on the map looking this for... This is going to be a base race win for the Penguin. Oh, man. This is exactly why you don't want to base trade against Mutalist. Because they are so mobile, like... Oh, At least God. not without your probes. You know, if he had a probe in his army, completely different. He may actually win because he has storms and... Actually, I don't know. Zombie Grab, I don't know. Like, the mutals are... They're not actually killing stuff that fast. And actually, the hatchery in the bottom left-hand corner gets killed off by DTs. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Uh, Zombie Grab, Oh, you gotta be kidding me. He needs here. to kill so, so many... He needs to kill five buildings compared to just the one... Oh, no, oh, now two. Okay. No, okay. Penguin wins. Yeah, you're right. All right. <laughs> oh. 